fire so high you can see it from the road. Got some real fire, time to pull a real boat. This is one of them nights when anything goes. Got a whole lot of shine on the summer smoke. Bomb fire so high you can see it from the road. Got some real fire, time to pull a real boat. Clint from Clinton Steel Survival bringing you a video today. Um, it's going to be an unboxing for Luke over at DLC Custom Knives. I ordered this from him. I had seen it on a video forever ago before it was up to his standards and he said that uh, he wanted to send it. Or he'd, he'd tell me first when he's ready to sell it. So um, I he got a hold of me a couple weeks ago and said it was ready and that my price would be a hundred bucks so I ordered it for sure I couldn't pass that up when I got it today I was a little bit worried all like it's been ripped into all that's holding it shut the rubber band um, I looked in it real quick to make sure it's there and I'm pretty sure it's all there so I hope nothing's missing if it is let me know and uh, I'll freak out at the post office but since I didn't cover up my address, gotta be careful here. Okay. So I didn't read anything, I just popped it open, looked to see if there's something in there, and it looks like there is. Hey there, Flint and Steel Survival, thank you for your interest in my knives. This one is made from L6 tool steel to prevent rust, oil it a few times a year. Um, Happy New Year, Luke at DLC Knives. Thank you, brother. Take this out, get this out of the way. Alrighty. You'll also have to tell me what this says. I could probably look it up too. Sweet. I love these keychains. It looks like this is a 9 by 19 so it's a 9 millimeter casing. Um, orange to match the knife. Orange, uh, I don't know what he uses, but it's cool. Then this is that knife. Look at that beautiful little karambit orange and white which are my school colors well the school I graduated from look at that work on the spine beautiful little spike on the top and it fits my hand just absolutely perfect it's like he measured and I'm telling you what this is a razor blade so if you guys need any uh, custom knives Here's Luke's card. Pause and read, as the fat man would say. DLC knives. There's his little spider web. I love the offset color, so how he used orange pins. File work on the front. Man, this is a wicked piece. I absolutely love it, Luke. Thank you very much. Um, worth it for sure I'm going to be carrying this guy a lot I can tell you that right now because I can slip it down in a pocket and still probably access it very cool alright everybody have a good rest of your day um, talking to you soon bye alright guys I'm back real quick just to give you a look at how I plan to wear this knife so, as you can see, you can't really see anything right here right now, but if I want to access the blade, I pull it out of my pocket and deploy it. So, easy as that, it's an immediate um, grab in the right direction, and uh, it would definitely be a way to screw up somebody's day. But, as you can see, just paracorded it around my belt. I twisted it already. <laughs> there you go. And uh, it just slides into my pocket and hangs there with this hoodie, which I wear all the time. It's also orange, so it kind of matches. So if you see anything sticking out orange at the bottom, probably just going to think it's part of the hoodie. 
So, uh, yeah, I think this is a great defensive blade option. Um, definitely a good fixed blade carry if you're looking for a defensive tool. Plus, it looks sick. I mean, that's a conversation starter right there all day long. And um, a lot of my American friends are probably thinking that's not a big blade. Um, but if you look at the ancient karambits, they were even smaller than this. The very first ones they used were probably that long total. And they were able to conceal them, but it's one of the most deadly knives in the world. Um, I'm definitely not skilled enough to make it that way. I haven't ever practiced karambit fighting, and I probably won't. But it's still a cool blade. Um, yeah, so I think that's all I got for now. I'll do an update on uh, this blade later. Plus, SSR, it's got jimping on the thumb ramp if you were carrying it that direction. Um, yeah, so, great blade. Thanks again, Luke. And uh, I'll be wearing it for a while. I promise you that. Thanks, and have a good one. Bye.